Before you start doing any video editing in iMovie, first thing you're going to do is actually go to settings. Now this is on an iPhone 6, so it may look different on your phone, but you want to go to, uh, to the general and then click on keyboard, find keyboard, then text replacement. And here you're going to, up in the top right, you'll hit plus, and you want to enter in your name and initials, uh, credentials, um, and then create a little shortcut for it. I'll show you mine here in a second. Uh, and you're going to want to do the same thing for uh, your website, in this case, Carter uh, Physiotherapy, so, um, or carterpt.com. So, for instance, Jared Carter with the credentials, and then JC1 is my shortcut, and you'll see why this is important uh, later. And then we have um, Carter PT. You, and this is a really great thing if you're typing things all the time or your email address or whatever just to set this stuff up to save you some time anyhow. So URL2. And so this is why that's relevant. Let's go ahead and click over to um, iMovie. And I might have to edit out some of the edit out of some of the dead space in this video uh, because it does uh, for, on my phone with the app iMovie app takes a while. So you're going to click plus. You're going to click movie, and then once that comes up, it'll give you kind of recent video and option uh, picture options. Um, if you click media in the top left, if you if what you just shot isn't right there or or it's something you're looking from the past and you don't want to scroll down, you can usually get to just videos rather than all the pictures as well. And if you have uh, in your photo um, and video part of your of your uh, phone, if you have different uh, folders set up, like I have clinic videos I just opened up for this purpose. Um, then you can have the exact ones that you want, right? So we'll click on this one. It's a minute long. Click the plus sign and then hit create movie. Okay, so then it loaded it up, right? Nice cheesy smile there. And then I'm going to actually, at the end of our videos, we, we have this nice little um, kind of animation, logo animation. So I'm going to click plus. It's already, it already starts at the end there. It's kind of the cursors at the end. I'm going to click to video again. And then I believe it's in my favorites. So wherever you want to save these different things that you use over and over. We'll click that. It's a little seven second click, uh, clip. Click the plus sign. It drops it right in there. And so you can see what happens here is at the very end. It goes into that nice uh, ending there. Okay, so this little button next to the pause and play will take you to the last transition. This is a little transition. I'll click on that so you can actually just quick lesson here. You can decide to have no transition and it just goes kind of directly from one to the next. It's like a hard cut. Um, or you can do, I like to do, sorry, a lot of these dissolve transitions so it's kind of like a fade type thing. Looks nice. Anyhow, let's go ahead back to the beginning and let's start adding our text. So just as a standard thing, um, if you let's say the let's say the beginning you've got some dead space or like a few seconds you want to cut off, you can you can kind so, of see uh, where you want to start it. Is, uh, what I was saying earlier. Let's say that. I wanted to start it right there. You can stop it there and hit split. Right. Another option is if you just want to shave like a half second off, it won't let you split. I'm gonna go this top this little button here to the, the little arrow back. It is an undo arrow, so you can always go hit that kind of in the middle right. I don't, you guys can't see my clicks, but um, let's say you click on that, and I just want to take a smidgen off the beginning. You hold the front of it and roll to the right, just kind of slide to the right, and then boom. Like you could, you can cut off a little bit of, of any clip in that way if it's not enough into the clip for the split to uh, appear. So what I mean by that is I'm just going to go a second or two in and click on it. Excellent. It did show it here. Click on that. A lot of times it won't show that. You see how the split is grayed out? If it's just a tiny little bit and it won't show the split, then you can just m scroll in if you hold the end of the clip and scroll in one direction or the other. Uh, again, you can undo if you ever go too far uh, on any of those. So I've clicked on that, and let's say I want to go in to about here um, for my first little bit of text. The first thing uh, I'll have... Uh, I'll have you do, or in, in, in our situation my, with my clinic, uh, is we want to just quickly put up a little text about what the video is about. Um, and so I'm going to click there, I'm going to hit split. Now I'm going to go back and click on this guy, this first clip.
clip is where we want to have the text of what the video is about. So now at the bottom, I'll click the T, and that's going to bring up some text options. And you can click around and see what you like. Let's just click on a few different ones. You can kind of see what happens. Now, depending on the video, you might want to have it big and bold in front and center, or you might, you can see at the bottom here, it says center and lower. If you click lower, then that is the, uh, you know, the options there. So I'm just going to keep it simple uh, and go right in the middle. And, and these different uh, intros, they, you can see like they come in in different, in different ways. If I click on focus, um, when I... When I click in the text, if you look down at focus, it's going to it's going to appear in this real weird kind of the the um, letters kind of coming in independently. And so you get, you want to look at what you know maybe what uh, what options you're you're really looking for. You also don't have to use every one of them. So for instance, if I just wanted to use that big one in the middle, I can click on these bottom ones, click the X, um, and essentially get rid of that one. Take, take that one out. Let's say I want to click out and get rid of this one. Click the X, get rid of that. Now I just have this guy in the middle. I'm double clicking it and nothing's happening. <laughs> there we go. And now I can back out and just say uh, so as release pop us. <laughs> There we go. All right. So let's say we wanted that. Now what's, what's uh, going to happen what is we earlier, started out. What I was saying earlier is that when can't you can't see, you can't really hear my right here. A lot of people don't even know to go for this. A lot of people don't even know to go for this. going to show for as long as you have it. Let's say I want to, you know, that's too long. I want to get in. I want to get rid of it sooner than that. You can always um, get rid of that transition, right? Um, or what you can do is just to keep it simple because that none the no transition there It's not gonna you're not gonna see any difference there. Let's say I go ahead and uh, hit the little scissor sign there split right now I was saying earlier is that the so as release earlier, only that shows that until that first transition so whatever text you create it's only gonna show in that transition now let's say in this one I want to go ahead and show the second thing, second bit of text, which is my name and the and the website. So I like I like using this line uh, title one, and you can have it in the middle if you're if it fits with your video well, or a lot of times I'll, I'll make that lower, right? And this is where what I showed you in the beginning comes into play. So we back out of this, and I put um, JC one. And then I can select that and boom, I'm not having to retype that all the time, right? And that really saves a lot of time. Same thing here. Delete that and we go URL2. And now there's carterpt.com, right? And so as we saw before, just like with SOAS, it's going to go away. Go away and now that. that's going to pop up. Also and at the end of that transition, it goes away as well. So if you want to add text at any point in time, you just create a little split where you want the text to start and stop, right? And put that text in. So if I go all the way to the end, uh, what I like to do is before the end, I also like to have that same thing show. So I create a split, click on the little arrows, create a split, and then right here, I'm, I'm going to make sure I've highlighted the, you know, the segment that I want to have the text appear. Um, then I've got the T, hit the little T, and then same thing. I won't repeat the whole thing, but I click the line, go lower, or maybe in the middle, depending on what you want, and then I'd fill that in with the correct, uh, you know, with the correct information. And when you do that, you might find that the SOAS or you can get down to the SOAS or something, make a big difference in their symptom, the backward bending. Sorry. The backward bending. Okay. And then at the end. So you can, you know, say you have a part in the middle that you stumble or you're resetting the camera or whatever. Say I wanted to just cut that out again. You're clicking, you're hitting the scissors, you're hitting split. And let's say it's like, oh, you know what? I wanted it really just a little bit sooner than that. I'm clicking on the end and dragging it to the left a little bit. So I'm taking a little bit more out, right? And then let's say this is the segment that I didn't want right there. You hit delete, get rid of that. And then you got you can have a hard cut right there or you can have it dissolve, right? So you can 
tension, to be like a little tension, 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 t